There's a special celestial event unfolding as seven planets are in near alignment in the night sky. It's known as a planetary parade. Joining us now is planetarium astronomer Scott Young. Good morning, Scott. Morning, Rochelle. How are you? I'm well. Thank you so much for joining us. Now tell us what's yeah. happening right now in that sky. Well, we've got the opportunity to, to basically see all of the planets in the solar system at the same time in the evening. Now, the caveat is that some of them are a little bit faint to see, and we, we, uh, they're, they're there, but they're not necessarily visible. But it's a great time to get out and look at the planets. We've got uh, basically all the brightest planets visible really, really easily just with the unaided eye. Okay, so which planets are we talking about? So if you go out after sunset, um, you've probably already seen Venus. It's the big bright white star in the southeast just after the sun goes down and that is sort of the centerpiece of the event down below that the elusive planet mercury pops into view for basically the only the next two weeks or so we only have a, a little bit of time to see mercury it's always the hardest one to catch okay uh, below that is Saturn. Now, Saturn is probably too low for us to see here in uh, northern latitudes, but in farther south, they'll be able to glimpse that a little bit as well. And then above all of that, we have Jupiter way off in the south, very, very high, and then Mars almost uh, overhead in the south as well. So those are the bright ones. And then the planet Uranus and Neptune, they're both in that sort of lineup as well, but they both require a telescope to see. They're just so far away from us that they, uh, they just don't show up to just the eye. Now, how and unusual course, is it for us to be able to see them all like this in some sort of planetary parade? Well, it's funny. There's always a planetary parade going on. They're always sort of in a line somewhere. It's just that most of the time, some of them are in the daytime or some of them are only visible in the morning sky. So you can't see them all at once. So it's a little bit unusual to see them all at the same time, uh, just just by, you know, looking in the sky and just looking across the sky. Uh, but it does happen every couple of years or so. And uh, like I say, Mercury is really the hardest one because it's only visible uh, for about four weeks out of the entire year where it's easy for the average person to see. So that's the one that usually sort of breaks up the parade. Okay, so if somebody wants to check this out tonight, because I hear it's going to be clear tonight, what should yeah. they do? What's the best time to go out there and check this out? You know, I, I think getting out about um, 6.30, uh, the sun will have just set, the sky is still bright, but you'll already be able to see Venus, and that's your starting point. And then as the uh, sun uh, sets farther and the sky gets darker, you'll be able to pick out Mercury and the other planets. Um, by the time, it, you know, 7.30 rolls around, v uh, Mercury and Saturn will have already set and you will have missed those ones, okay. but you'll still see Venus and the other ones. Okay, well, let's talk about some of the other discussion about space right now. There's been discussion lately about an asteroid that is approaching yeah. our planet. What's the latest on that? Is it really going to hit our planet? Is it really going to destroy a city? What do we know so far? Yeah, so luckily uh, it is not going to hit us. And uh, we kind of thought that this would be the case. What, what happens, we find these rocks and they're really small and they're hard to track. And when you first see them, you don't know exactly how it's moving in space. So it, it usually takes a few weeks to get enough observations to know exactly where it's going to go. And then we can tell if either it's going to hit us or it won't. Um, and this one had about a 3% chance to hit us. But now that chance is down well below, um, I think it's 0.005 five percent right now so we don't have to worry about this one luckily uh, it took a little longer to get to that point with this asteroid just because of the the size of it and and its path it was a little hard for telescopes to uh to image and so it took us uh, almost two months to get that uh percentage down to zero so nothing to worry about on that front well that is good news indeed and if you want to check this out tonight six just after six thirty is the best time to get started thank you scott for your time today we appreciate it no problem talk to you again yeah have a good day